Good afternoon, everyone. This is David with the Ball Over Live. Well, what you're looking at right now is the Crystal Beach Water Tower, and this is the one located behind the water department. I was talking to one of the board members several weeks ago, and he said, David, you know, we're going to be tearing down that water tower. Then we're going to build a new base and put up a new water tower. And when I came by earlier today, uh, I noticed there was some work and they've got several big cranes up there and we're going to take a look at what they're doing. In fact, one of the cranes looks like he's lower and down right now. We've got the camera zoomed in and let me tell you, the wind is howling down here right now out of the southeast. And I noticed they're working on the opposite side of the tank. Um, but they're working on taking this down and we're going to do several live feeds um, on this and how they're dismantling it and then they'll come back in and make a new base. But first, this Ball Over Live is brought to you by Cobb Real Estate. When you're looking for a vacation rental here on the upper Texas coast on Bolivar Peninsula, a custom built home made for your family to enjoy all the comforts of home, stop by or look them up online at www.cobrealestate.com in the family for generations and they not only rent homes they sell homes and they also build custom homes you can find them online at www.cobrealestate.com well like i said <clears throat> if you're not looking you wouldn't even notice it unless you saw it because of the big crane and that's what they've got up there and it looks like they've done something on the top of it already, maybe cut a hole in it. And I see them walking around, some of the guys you can see uh, walking around there. And so I know that if the wind's blowing 25 down here, it's got to be blowing 35 up there. So if you're in the area and you want to see something or watch it as it goes by, we're going to be doing some Bolivar Live feeds uh, throughout the next two or three weeks, however long it takes them. Um, but they will be working on it, uh, weather permitting, and I guess they're going to take it down piece at a time. With this wind blowing, though, I'd hate to see them lower anything down, and they've got a heck of a crane up there. In fact, let me zoom out so you can see what it looks like from the ground. There you can see the crane, and this is right in the center of Crystal Beach. Um, so it's not hard to see, sort of a cloth across from uh, the lumber yard and uh, one of the food trailers right behind the water department. So if you see their sign, you can't miss it. It looks like Panther's fixing to lose a ladder. Uh, anyway, but we're going to keep you posted on the dismantling of the water tower and as the new one comes up we'll try and get some more information on is it going to be bigger than the one we have and the reasoning i know the reasoning they said it, it was an old water tower and it just wasn't uh price wise wouldn't have been as good as if they didn't to do repairs on it so and i can tell you this tower here's probably the first one down here and it's been down here forever. Originally, they were talking about adding one down on the west east end of the peninsula, but after having this one looked at, uh, they felt it was better to replace this. And we've got another one at Boyt Road. We've got several ground storage tanks, and so running out of water because this one's down isn't a problem. Um, the water department does a great job uh, making sure we have plenty of water, and they know that we're coming into our busy time of year. Uh, they've got generators on a lot of these uh, towers, so if the power goes out, they don't have to worry. But anyway, if you can remember as a little kid coming down here, seeing the Crystal Beach Water Tower, uh, I can tell you it's, it's coming down and it's going to be replaced by hopefully a bigger, but I can tell you it'll be a whole lot better. So anyway, just wanted to show you what was going on down here. Rain's looking good um, for now. It doesn't look like we're going to get anything until a little bit later on this evening, maybe. I saw a, a, a forecast of about 5 o'clock looking like a line may come through here. I don't know if that's uh, how the forecast is, but right now uh, we've got a lot of wind and everything's drying out. We didn't get a whole lot this morning, 
uh, but we did get some and so it'll give it some time to drain off. Remember, keep everyone in, in Lake Charles and Southwest Louisiana and in uh, West Louisiana, Beaumont, Port Arthur, Southeast Texas, all the way up through uh, the lake area. Keep them in your prayers. They got hit hard yesterday and there's a lot of damage uh, from floodwaters. I read somewhere where someone said this will be the third time their house flooded since 2017 and I hate that on anyone. So anyway, we're gonna head on out and get back to the office, do some editing we did. We've got some information on the bill for the golf carts uh, coming up and some good news on that. So anyway, we're gonna head on out. Let us know where you're listening from. What's the weather like in your part of the world? Show us some pictures if you've had some flooding and let us know how you're doing. Until next time, I'm David with Bolivar Live. Y'all have a great day, great week. Come see us. God bless. And we'll keep you posted as the Crystal Beach, Texas water tower comes down and the new one goes up. God bless and bye-bye.